Well, the satellite you're looking at is called Sat 24. This is a uh, Europe. The bottom left is Spain, Morocco, and then above Spain, of course, is France. And wanted to show you that system that is kind of parked there, and that's troublesome because this area has already received too much rain and really can't handle a whole lot more. And you see a smaller system parked over Italy, which is not good news for them because they're struggling with some of the worst floods they've seen in the northern provinces in, in decades upon decades. Uh, the number one supplier of actual rice in Europe, from Europe, is northern Italy. And that's your risotto. But the reason it, that storm that's parked there is troublesome is because what's in the North Atlantic on the way as well. We're getting another system right on top of that one. So if you're waiting for somewhere to dry out in France, Europe, Italy, you're going to have to wait. It's just going to be a while. In S Southern California, we saw evidence of geoengineering and uh, chemtrail lines. We zoomed in, and th they're pretty obvious. The, the zigzag cr crisscrossing, and the heads of the lines look like swabs. they got little bulbs on the end. Um, and that's usually a strong indicator of artificially con created calm trails. We're looking in the greater Pacific Basin, you see Hawaii off to the lower left is finally getting moisture uh, brought in over the top of it. The met moisture is fast moving, not leaving a whole lot behind, but it's extended out over time. In, you can see on the left margin, there's a swirling counterclockwise rotation driving the left part of that system down and the right part almost due north. I mean, at an incredible speed, that's, a, that's you know, some incredible speeds for moisture coming down uh, to the left-hand side of that system and then making a hairpin turn and going right back up at incredible speeds. That low system did not used to be an oval like it is. It used to be spherical. We've tracked it from 10 days ago, uh, traversing from the Gulf of Alaska to its current location where it parked and started to elongate and it's just stayed there and finally uh, Hawaii is getting some shade and some water but uh, you know I, I just read an article about half the fish they eat there has CCM 134 in there and that's uh, your signature your fingerprint for Fukushima so that water makes a U-turn at Hawaii uh, dives down. You can just see it diving down and then coming back up. That's highly unusual. We've seen that formation, though, becoming more and more normal. And it's set up by that incredible counterclockwise rotation. And it's, it's so strong that it's created a counterclockwise rotation. And we look down on the southern hemisphere just a bit, and we see that the southern hemisphere is starting to mimic the northern hemisphere where you have large Antarctic vortexes driving the jet streams and they're no longer traveling in the correct direction. In the south when that happens they call it El Nino. But you can see that Pacific Basin devoid of water off that donut off to the left uh, is actually a clockwise spinning anticyclone being driven by that that it, it looks like an eye uh, but that very narrow oval just north of Hawaii. Uh, amazing uh, what those vortexes can do. We think it was artificially created by the way. And then we go down where we see we had tracked an artificially created low pressure that tracked f across the Gulf of Mexico into Mexico up to Baja and up into the Gulf of Mexico uh, of Alaska. Now we see south of the Yucatan, we see another system building. Now this is a, more of a traditional looking system. Why? Because it has water in it. To create such a system that is so strong that it shears water off of hurricanes, but yet it itself has no water in it. That looks very artificial. 
and it's hard for me to imagine how you can create a low pressure system without water uh, especially with the oceans being as hot as they are so this is starting to build up um, south of the Yucatan Peninsula and again we're looking down uh, towards Texas Mexico New Mexico Arizona because they predicted snow and precipitation and finally finally they're letting water come up into the state uh, you know thank you because we have millions of dying birds around so a little water would help bring back a few insects I'm sure of it but the, yesterday we got this bizarre pulse out of the North Pole again very strong signature so strong it wiped out all the data on the satellite for a split second uh, and traverses and occupies the entire northern hemisphere this pulse is propagating from the North Pole it's it's not just a f like a, a flash and it's very bizarre also look at coming in from the upper right you see a wave coming in now that's not a day versus night uh, transition that's a wave of something uh, hitting water up there in British Columbia and drying out that storm and changing the actual temperature and signatures of that water less water colder water that's amazing uh, that wave that just came through there but almost as amazing as this wave that comes through this wave is is definitely electromagnetic or photon type of energy it is not a atmospheric wave it's not an ionospheric wave uh, it, and it's nothing that comes from the Sun or from planet X this is a man-made generated signature this type of interference it's just we've never seen it so strong we've never seen it so how do I say uniform and and completely wipes out all data on the ghost telescope uh, just overwhelms it with with a surge of energy that looks like photon energy that's that's some kind of radar microwave something but it does have the appearance um, if you look at before and after that it may in fact be drying out the atmosphere it's hard to say what it could be again looking at the southwest focusing in you could see a complete loss of data from that pulse so that's definitely a moving propagating wave that's propagating nearly at the speed of light and it, it is and it is a pulse I just don't know what they're doing it for and what it means so we'll keep an eye on that for you until next time be prepared not scared